Hey guys, thanks for clicking on my channel. Um, today I'm going to do another unboxing of a horror box block. Horror block box. Like every time I see this box, I get really happy. I still have about three boxes left after this, I think. Um, I do get happy, but at the same time, I get really sad because they're no longer around. And I'm really just doing this for fun. Um, and I wanted to include you guys with uh, the surprises that come in this box that used to come every month. Let me know if you guys are subscribed to any other horror um, themed boxes and if you like them, obviously. Um, and yeah, let me know what kind of horror boxes do you guys get? Or other types of um, subscription boxes. I'm curious. I don't know if I would subscribe. Only because right now with COVID and everything. I'm, we're trying to like save up. And then our AC I think died. So I have, like we have to save up for a new one. And all that. So. Well. Anyways. Hope you guys have been well. Um, I think things are starting to go back to normal or yeah, they're starting to open things up in Toronto and I've been working from home for the past three months at least. I haven't been back in the office, um, although our office has been open. Um, I have a feeling that we're going to be going back in a couple of weeks, probably in, on rotation and stuff. But anyways, so here we go. So if you guys don't know, you're not like familiar with this box, they usually come with a DVD or a book. They always come with a shirt and you get to choose the size of the shirt. Um, but I think it's um, unisex size. So I don't know, actually, I can't remember. It's been years actually and I'm just starting to open boxes. Like, not starting to. I've been opening them randomly and stuff. But yeah, they would come with shirt and some DVDs or books and like Funko, Bo Funko Pop figures. Those are great. They're my favorite. Um, in fact, I have a feeling that we got one today. Um, okay, let's see. I'll leave the shirt last. Do -do 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 -do. Just to say, ah, this is good. It's a zombie wine stopper, but it's a finger. It's the finger of a zombie. <laughs> That's great. Um, I'm not a huge wine person. I do have wine bottles as gifts from friends, so I did try. I tried to um do like one bottle a week and I would try like a different one and it just like didn't take off with me. <laughs> I like to drink but not, I'm not I think because I like sweet wine so anyways um I don't know why I opened it oh I think yeah whatever I'll just put it in the drawer the kitchen drawer I just wanted to show you guys um interesting I guess you just put in the finger in the bottle that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Oh, what was the purpose of that? Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Oh, I didn't want to look at the shirt. Okay. What is this? Exclusive item. Oh yeah, so sometimes they would have like horror block exclusive items, um, a chopping block. What is this? I mean, the packaging is like, you know when, um, you know when you smoke, it's like a box of like a packet of cigarettes. Cigarettes? Cigarette. Let's see. It feels like, um... Playing cards, a deck of playing cards. Not sure. Is it? Open. Oh, 
is it? Funny enough, I have no playing cards. Like, I, I don't have a deck of playing cards. Ah! Okay. It is, I think they are cards. I mean, yeah. But look. I'll show you guys. Joker as um, Pennywise from It. What else do we have? Jokers, aces. Is that focusing? Is it? Yeah, it's good. Okay, everything else looks normal. <laughs> Except for the, um, I'm not sure what they're called. Like, okay, well, there's Jack, which is, um, I want to say, why is it not focusing? Captain Spaulding from a Rob Zombie movie. Ah, which movie? Ah, uh, which movie? It's not Thousand Corpses, is it? Oh, I'm so bad. But it's, I know it's Captain Spaulding. Uh, okay. And then this is, I think her name was Samara from The Ring. I always get it confused with, I get the names confused with the girls from The Ring and The Grudge. Was there even a girl in The Grudge? Oh my god, I'm horrible. Anyway, uh, okay. And then Jigsaw from Saw. And then everything else looks like regular stuff. This is great because I don't have a, a deck of cards. So this is great. Um, I can play Solitaire or I can play Busoy Dos. I can play other things. Um, it's the guy from Scream. <gasps> Ugh. My nose is so itchy. Sorry, I keep scratching my nose. It's the lady from Misery. It's Kathy Bates. Uh, I can't remember the character. It's by uh, Stephen King. I love that movie too. What the fuck was her name? I can't remember her name. Anne? Let me say Anne. This is... From Silence of the Lamb. So you can hear Ben upstairs barking. Hannibal Lecter. Took me so long. Oh, I'm so slow today. I'm slow every day, actually. Hannibal Lecter. That's great. This is great stuff. Spade stuff. What else do we have? Okay. I think it's the alien from the alien. Carrie, from Carrie, another Stephen King, and of course Jason, from Friday the 13th. Oh, I love it! Okay, I wasn't excited at first because I'm like, what is this? But no, I'm pretty happy with this. I can't wait to play. Um, I should put that back later in the box. What else do we have? Okay, so far I'm loving one out of two items a box another box another box okay let's go with this okay so i think keeping up with the theme today with the bottle opener we have oh sorry sorry bottle stopper and now we have a bottle opener maybe it's a sign that i should start drinking Oh, okay, ooh. The quality is pretty good, but this one's heavy. I guess it should be if you're using it as a bottle opener. It's 
pretty good. Ooh, look at the detail. Nice. How close can this thing go? That's it. Wah, wah. All right, so great. This says, like, we have a bottle opener. And we have a bottle stopper. So, yeah. I think I have a bottle of wine in the fridge. Should I be putting it in the fridge? I don't know, but it's in the fridge. Um, maybe I will have wine tonight and try to use this unless it's like one of those screw corkscrew thingies which i do have a corkscrew thingy <laughs> um another box zombie apocalypse egg cup spoon and toast cutter all right so it's it's a lot of kitchen stuff today uh this I'm gonna open that. I do like egg. So use a cutter to assemble your toast arsenal. I'm starting to like stop eating meat again. Um, I stopped eating meat for a few months and then I started again in May because I wanted to eat chicken. I love fried chicken and my birthday thing was to have fried chicken on my birthday but I ended up eating meat the whole month so I'm starting again this month this week and I do still eat like egg and fish and stuff so I can still use this um, and I will take pictures because I take Instagram pictures every day okay um, I don't know do we have to put this together this is what's inside I don't know if I'll keep the other ones, but I'll definitely keep the egg hold egg holder. It's plastic. Mm. Zandy. All right, and then we have a shovel or a spade. Oh, of course. So you eat it like this. So you get the egg, you put it in here, and then you eat it like this. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth keeping the spade. But what is this for? Oh, it says toast cutter. All right. So I guess, obviously, you toast your bread, and then you use this to cut your bread. I don't know. I feel like that's a lot of work. And then, are you going to eat the small stuff? Are you going to eat the shaped bread? And then, eat the rest that wasn't, that was cut out? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like you could also use this for baking. No, not even. Oh, yeah. I think. For baking? But I feel like... I feel like a lot of things. So I feel like when you do bake with this, it'll just shrink and then it doesn't look like what it's supposed to look like anymore. I don't know what about, I don't know about this. All right. I think I'll donate this and just keep the egg holder. Yeah. All right, I'll do that. <laughs> um what else? Okay, so um, with every box also comes a Rumorg magazine. This is where we find out which box this is from, which month. And this is from March 2016. It's been four years, guys. I got this box four years ago, and I'm, I'm just opening it now. Um, I do collect these. I do have a bunch of these guys. Um, and I'll get to them when I get to them, because I do want to read them. Anyway, uh, and then the last one is the box. I mean, the shirt. Ta -da! What is that? What is that? I don't know where this is from. Do you guys know where this is from?
Boy. No idea. They do come with like this card that tell you um what's in the box. What's in the box? Wings and skull. Ah. It says it's okay to admit we all have a thing for Daryl. We're okay with showing that to others by wearing that the shirt from Shirt Punch. Um, Daryl, the first person that comes to mind is Daryl from The Walking Dead. So I'm guessing it's from The Walking Dead. Daryl Dixon, I think, is his name. Um, I did watch the show for the first two seasons, I think, and then I just became disinterested because it became more like drama rather than horror. So, uh, I don't think I'm going to keep this shirt. If you guys want it, let me know. If you're from Toronto, I can meet you guys or whatever and give it to you for, I don't know, five bucks. I don't know. I don't know if I'm allowed to. Like, I think I think I can like, sell these. I do have other shirts that I do what I want to get rid of um, that's horror related only because I'm trying to purge and I do have shirts that I love but I have shirts that I could I get rid of so um yeah let me know if you're from Toronto or from the GTA if you want this yeah medium ladies um it's a, a from what I remember it is a bit like tight fitting so yeah let me know and and that's it for the box for today I mean, I guess I had three more boxes to go through um, I'm not sure when I'm gonna record I'll try to record them in the next two weeks um, yeah thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys are staying safe and distancing yourself from other people or just don't hug and kiss other people for now um, and hope you guys are mentally okay because I know it is hard. I do have friends that are struggling right now, um, financially or mentally or both. And it, it is hard. Uh, for me, I think it's more, like I did have to get a pay cut, but it's it's still better than not working. Because um, at least my mind is still like preoccupied with other things aside from what's been going on. Um, yeah. Stay safe and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.